it is money didn't oh hey are we live yeah we're live we're live <laughs> finally what time is it oh we're not that late we're not that bad we're doing good are we on yeah we're on we're on just not showing it yet mm. my channel what do we got oh there we go yeah there he is it's the lover uh, the rubber yeah, chicken there we go yeah there he is it's the lover <laughs> the lover chicken. Blubber chicken. Blubber chicken. I don't know what I said. Are we officially still live or not? Yeah, we're live. Oh my goodness, I'm goofing around. Hey, are you out there? Anybody? Oh, look, we got some people. Pamela, Karen, Beansy. Hey, Beans. When are you coming to see me, Beans? I'm waiting. I'm waiting, Beans. Well, today we're going to do some beaded earrings. I don't know if you got to see the video on Friday or not. Um, if you didn't, whenever you have time, maybe you like to look at it. Um, not like you guys can't make earrings, you can. Mm -hmm. But as I mentioned in the video um, on Friday, a lot of times we get to thinking, oh, you know, maybe we're a little too advanced for three beads on head pin, blah, 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 blah. Well... I don't think we ever are because there are so many things you can do with those simple stacked beads on a head pin. It's the way you put them together that matters. Just like we did the stacked boho beading for a necklace, the same thing. But there are some things that I did in the video the other day that I ended up not liking. So I thought for the sake of argument, I would show you why I didn't like them and what we could do instead perhaps okay all righty so let's see who's here oh my goodness look at them line up soleil nancy deborah beans says so she'll be here in an hour are you gonna cook dinner beans <laughs> bring some of your italian food with you and let's see trish swank swanky hi i think she's new or maybe i missed her before barb kelly is where she's sort of here well we're glad you're sort of here we'll take what we can get Here's Samantha, Cheryl Roberts, Claire. Pam says she needs to start somewhere. I need it broken down. Thank you for this. Well, yeah, i got some cute stuff to show you here in a minute. Hi from Kiwiland. Does that mean, is that, is that New Zealand? Let me know because I want to know if I'm right. Gemini Realm. Betty Strongman, how you doing? Gary Burker. Um, Renee Cochran, yay. First time live. Good. Thanks for coming, Renee. Woohoo! Yay! Well, listen, I'm gonna, I better get to this because the next thing you know, we'll be here an hour and a half and most of you will be leaving. <laughs> Say, so, I'll see you next week. Bye. Had enough for this. Okay. What I thought when I got done with that video, here are my earrings. Now, I don't have the blue and turquoise ones because I claim them. They're mine and I think they're thrown in a dresser <laughs> door somewhere. <laughs> but anyway. Oh, hey, where's that necklace? That necklace from last week. You're not smashing it on here, are you? No. I don't see that necklace. Oh, here it is underneath. Okay, it's safe. I just got... Sorry, ADHD moment. I thought of something else. Okay. All right, let me go back to this. These are the earrings that I did in the video on Friday. Can you guys guess... Let's do this first. Can you guys guess which pair of earrings... Got the most comments of all of them. You gotta, you gotta, do you know? Don't say if you know. Just guess. I actually don't know. Okay, um, so guess. The red ones. The re you think they like the red ones best? Yeah, I, I don't know why. Well, they're the ones we're going to tear apart. No. Oh, yeah, and I'll show you why, too. Why? <laughs> because we're going to make them better. Oh, did they or something? <laughs> no, it's because they don't have any movement on the bottom. Well, that's true. And you that there's a... Movement. A little issue with the top on this that you just have to compensate for and that's how it is with resin beads semi-precious beads anything like that you're gonna have some wonky holes and one side is high and blah 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 and it affects the design so you have to compensate you have to learn how to compensate and another thing I didn't like about this just since we're talking about it um, it's cute but it needs more movement. It's just kind of like stationary. Yeah. yeah. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. I know. So I I'm think sorry. we should take it off from here. 
take the rondelle out, figure out how we're going to compensate for the wonky hole, and then drop it. So we'll do that in a minute. Okay, so you guys haven't figured out which one. Let me see if anybody, is anybody guessing? Somebody said the green one. Green. Who, who said green? Karen said green too. A couple people. Kara says she likes the earthy ones. You mean these ones? They're not done. We're going to do these in a little bit. I like those too. That is, this is me. <laughs> this right here, this is me. This is Bisu. Believe it or not, you think it'd be frothy, frilly, you know, blah, blah, blah. No, this is me right yeah, now. I made earrings too. Oh, <laughs> she wants hers in there. <laughs> Little brat. <laughs> she, I you like know, have little. you guys ever seen her Briolette's video? She has so many views on this. Stupid. Anyway, she got some little opal beads and yep. these little Briolettes. And did you make your own ear wires? Yep, everything. Yep, yeah, everything. <laughs> well, maybe at the workshop you can show us how to make our own ear wires. Oh, yeah, we can save money. Of course, I'll never buy them from me again, but you know what? I don't care. It's well, hard. you know, it's, a, it's hard. There, there are times you have to make your own ear wires. You just there have is. to, you know, just not working out otherwise. Okay, so these are hers, and it wasn't this one. And dun, 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 dun. And it wasn't this one, although I like the bottom of yeah, this I the best. Like the I like the bottom of this the best. This is a little bit too stationary, like the other one. Might have to redo that. These are the ones... These are the ones, the green ones, which I never, ever thought in a million years that these would get the attention that they got. And they're really long, too. So they are, but they're long. not too long. You know, they're not I like, like to your shoulder. Well, yeah, we've got long hair. Well, you know what? I cut my hair. You guys can't see it, but I cut my hair. So now, if I wear long earrings, you could see them yeah. better. Mm -hmm. You know, but anyway, yeah, they like these the best. In fact, the two, so it must be true. So those were the faves. So we'll talk about them again in a little bit. This bead's super cheap. This bead's super cheap. This bead's super cheap. These cost a little bit more because they're hand decorated. But still, not bad. Not bad. New. Okay, so let's see what they're saying before I start taking this apart and we work on Claire's earthy earrings. <laughs> let's see. Beans. Easy bean green. Well, you'd know, wouldn't you? <laughs> <laughs> You guys got to understand something. Beansy and I go like way, way back. She claims she's my little sister. And I will, I will claim her too. We go way, way, way back. Okay, way, way before Facebook. Way, way before Facebook. So um, anyway, that's why all the chuckling around. Okay, Beans likes them. The bees look, bees look almost like they're glowing. Ooh, yeah, a little bit. A little bit. Kate is here. Hey, Miss Kate. Should I tell him, Miss Kate? Can I tell him? I don't know. Should I tell him? <laughs> Guess what? Miss Kate thinks she might be able to come to the workshop. Woo! Woo yeah. Yay, Yay <laughs> Kate. <laughs> That's be her first time. Really? Yeah. Oh, yeah, you're right. Yep. She wouldn't yeah. Yeah, if she can make it, that will be awesome. We are going to have a ball, for sure. I might have to make her teach. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, let's see. So, um, we will get on with this, and we're going to do these earrings, because, you know, we didn't come here to holler at each other, did we? No. No, and be silly. I did want to tell you something else before I forgot. Oh, that phone. We take it off. We take it off the hook, and then 15 minutes later, it starts bleeping. And anyway, let me take these apart while I'm talking to you. I want to take these apart carefully so I don't. Well, do I need to take that off? Probably not. I just need to. No, yeah, I do because I gotta redo it. Okay, so when you move these out, gotta be careful. It's just kind of like opening jump rings the wrong way. You know, you never want to take a jump ring. And there's a for instance. You never want to take a jump ring. Whoops. And open it. Uh, too much coffee. You never jump. Never. That's no, no badness. That's badness. Right here. You just ruined the jump. You just ruined it. And I'll show you why. Because when you try to put it back together, it's wonky city. And you might be able to get it back together good. But you just never do quite. So, I'll throw it here so I don't use it. So, when you do this, you have to take this off. So, you've got to loosen it a little bit so you can get your stuff off so you're gonna have to pull out on it like the no-no way 
but I think I was successful. So I got this off here. See, I'll show you again. This is see, I when you get your beads on, what you do is kind of crimp this down, this part. We carry this style. I think these came from the factory, though. He shares some of his findings with me. So I'm going to open it like this. And I'll take this off. See, I open that sideways like a drummer. <laughs> well, you could do that, too. I, I guess that maybe that makes us smarter. Oh, well, no, well, no, no one that. ever accused me of being smart. Yeah, you're, you're pretty smart. <laughs> you think so? Yeah. Lori Friday Vanderberg. <laughs> Hi, everyone. Love these videos. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you, Lori. Let's see. Joyce Bailey's here. Got, just got here. Karen Eaton got here. So we got 39 on here already. Woohoo! Woo you know, I better actually do something. Here. Okay. <laughs> so what I'm going to do, I've, I've got this on here, and they look lovely, but they just, they just don't hang quite right to suit me. Maybe they would for you, but not me. So I'm going to show you what I will do to improve them. I'm going to go in here, and I'm going to Try not to run my rondelle. You know what? I think because I don't want to run my rondelle, I'll cut it off up here. Yeah. That makes more sense. That's what a smart person would do. That's what Javi would do. Yeah, I've got glass beads on here, though, so I don't want to break them. You know what? That's true. Here's what I'm going to do. Yeah, there you go. Tell you what I'm going to do. I'm going to pull it apart from here, and then I'm going to cut it. Because I looped this, after all, on myself. Okay, this is what this now we're cooking with gas. You know, you can tell how old I am from the expression. <laughs> how he looks at me all the time. What does that mean? Yeah, I don't know what that means. Yeah, it just means now we're we're making it work. Now we're oh. making it happen. Okay, now they're all off of there. Before I take these off, I'm gonna try and remember what I did with these. So now I need to find what did I use? I used silver with these. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna use silver, I don't think. No, I could use gold with that one. I could, but I need, um, if I'm going to do that, I need gold I I think? Yeah. And I right here. No, those are head pins, honey. Oh, psh. I don't think I have a head. <laughs> I know I have some where they are right now at this moment. You know what? For Doing sake that. of time, we're going to use brass ox. Well, actually, they call this dirty brass because you can't plate head pins this long when they have any kind of copper stuff in them and dirty brass does but this is a really good blended color my guy did for me because it goes with brass socks it goes with um, antique copper if you have antique copper in your stash it goes with um, rusted iron too you can make it pass so anyway enough of that oh somebody asked is that a cinnabar bead yes 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 it's a cinnabar bead now what do you guys know about cinnabar before we go any farther, anybody know anything? Anybody like uh, vintage stuff? Well, I'll just tell you, the real cinnabar back in the day had, it was beautiful stuff. I'm not going to put this on. It was beautiful stuff, but it had mercury in it. So, you know, people were choking and gagging and falling to the floor. <laughs> It was not safe to wear mercury. Yeah. Okay. So that had real mercury in it. Um, so they got to making fake cinnabar, which is basically resin. But I'm telling you what, it's hard to believe these are resin because the carving in them, I don't know if she can get it. I just lift it up. Go that way. Go this way. Yeah, there you go. Perfect. It's, it's. See if I can see. Yeah. So the carving in this is just so fine. I can't I can't even see hardly where the mold line is. I see a little bit this side, but I just really don't I don't know how I they do this. Either. I can't believe they do this by hand, although it looks like it. It totally looks like it. But anyway, these are the bomb. I have more and more cinnabar stuff at the site all the time because I love the color to begin with. And then it's just so versatile. I like the hot colors, you know. So anyway, that's what the cinnabar is now. It's resin, but it is beautiful. Okay, so now I'm going to waste this head pin by doing this, but oh, not head pin, eye pin. I'm putting this on an eye pin because I want to get this to swing at the bottom. Make any sense to you guys? 
I want movement in my earrings. I don't want it just to be a long column of beads just hanging there, bobbing around. I agree. Like a fishing lure. I agree. You know, agree. I want, I want, uh, I want some movement. You know, it just looks prettier for people to wear. Heidi Blankenship is here again. Hey, Heidi. Oh, she says they're beautiful. Thank you. And then T can't do carving makes the beat. I can't agree with you more. I believe Gloria Allen loves stacked earrings. Me too. But I love them if they've got a little movement in them more. Depends. You know, if they're shorter, maybe. I don't know. Maybe it just depends the beads you use. But anyway. Yeah, Gloria, she loves. Miss Gloria loves her beads. She loves her beads. Okay. This is Stardust Art and Healing Studios. Hi. Thanks for coming. Okay, so now I'm going to cut this off. You probably saw me wrap it. If not, I'll do it again for those who don't know how to do that. And I'm not the best at wrapping beads. Maybe I should make a heavy come here and do it. Actually, I do fine. But I do wonky wraps. And if you want precision wraps, you want her to show you. Because she's very precise. Did you do wraps on your earrings you're wearing? No. No. Yeah, see, she took the, she took the easy road. Okay, like, why am I messing around with these? Because there's an end here that's kind of sticking out, and I don't want to go in there and cut it again because I'll get it too short and it'll look stupid. So I'm trying to push it in so it doesn't stand. And I think I just achieved happiness. Yes. Okay, <laughs> happiness. All righty, so now I've got this bead flailing around, and i got to figure out what to do with it. So now... I want to get my ball and head pin. These are the brass ox ones, which we don't have right now, but I'm calling my guy tomorrow to get them, so we will. They will be coming very soon. I don't know if I want to do this or not. This will make it very earthy and less blingy, and I don't know if I want to do that or not. What, for the symbol? Uh, see, one of the problems oh. with this thing is that the holes are off center. You'll get that a lot with beads made in India. Sometimes Chinese, these are Indian. But anyway, um, that's where the beads come from. So hey, you know, I didn't buy check glass. This is, you know, plastic beads, resin beads come from the Orient and from India. They always have. So, but sometimes you will get the hole is off a little bit. So it, just gorgeous, gorgeous work though. Beautiful. I love the designer crude type. I had a friend one time explain it as being designer crude and I always thought that was a good explanation. It's fantastic. So anyway, what I think I'm going to do is I'm going to put this through here. Yeah, it's going to stay. And then I'm going to try to compensate for the wonky hole. I think this one's even worse. So, but we have to get them leveled up and that's another thing with these beads. You, you want to make sure that they're both the same size too, which these are. So that's good. So now I've got this on here. Now what would happen? Where's that rondelle? Where did I put it? See what I did with it? Here's the one I didn't. Oh, I see. I used it. Duh. I'll have to get another one. I thought I just seen one on, but I guess you did use it. Yeah, I got more over here. Just a second. I'll show you my bead boxes in a minute. Okay, so here's another one. I actually, after the video, went and organized this place a little bit. Okay, so now I did this, but see, I've got this rondelle that's kind of caved in there. I don't like doing a wrap here without putting something in there. Yeah, like yeah kind of to compensate. So I got to see what I've got because, huh, I got some topaz AB here. Would that work? Well, in a pinch. I don't have any red ones. Poo. Not little, anyway. Well, do we have any impression, Jasper, in here? Yes. Oh, we got some of those check beads. Okay. Did you guys get any of these? I gotta get some more of these tomorrow, too. These are the most awesomest beads, I think. They are check. They're glass. Let me show you. These are probably not the best choice, but for the sake of time, I'm going to do it. They're not the best choice, but they sure fit good. Ooh, they look good. You think? Yeah. I don't know. They kind of have that earthier look, huh? huh? Might be great. Might be the perfect thing. Oh, well. Stop talking about it and do it, Brenda. 
Okay, so a lot of times I would like to take and put another um, I uh, not I pin another um, cap. Yeah, I'm having trouble with my words lately. I can't remember the words. It's okay. I get those days. Oh, I have a lot of those days. I even asked the doctor about it, and she said, "There's nothing wrong with you. No, nope. you just have too much on your plate." And you're getting older. Now, here's a good example of why you've got to put something on the bottom. I'm glad this happened, actually. See what happened? It slipped up in there. I can get it out. But see why? It's because this hole is kind of big. And the ball end, end hit, head, ball end head pin not quite big enough. So what do we do? Well, we do this. We take, since we're going to make it look kind of earthy, I'm going to take this little tiny four millimeter impression jasper bead and I'm going to stick it on there that'll act like a stopper so we're good so now this is going back on here right then we do this I'm actually getting a lot on here this could be uh, like a pair of earrings all by itself so if you're thinking about economy and all that you might I'm going to say, I don't know if I want to use that many beads. Because maybe I'm getting in the same situation again. There's too much on here. I mean, it's not too much. But for what I wanted to get this to dangle and hang, it's, it's not what I had in mind. So what now? Oh, no, brown cow. <laughs> Take it off. But I love that on there. Rats and foodie. Well, okay, what if I just do this? Oh, wow, that really pops out, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. That is colorful. Now I'll put this on here. Maybe now it's a little bit less. We'll see. Because another thing what happens when you have stuff like this and there's a little bit too much on there and it's getting kind of long is it wants to um, contort and go crooked. And it'll bend easy, even for your wearer after you sell it. And then you don't want that because you want people to come back and buy more. So, anywho, you don't want that. And we don't, we don't want to leave that. Now, so I'm going to do this the way Javi said in the video. What she likes to do, I usually cut mine off first, but she likes to get it on its way to being looped. And then she gets in there and cuts it so she can see kind of where she's at. I'm going to put down like this so it doesn't go flying. Oops. It did anyway. <laughs> okay. i tell you what. I should not have drank that cup of coffee. Shaky, shaky hands. I just want to get this done so I can show you what the hey I mean. Or you'll leave me. I want you to leave. we got 54 watching now. We've never had that many yet. Holy moly. Okay, so rather than putting another jump in there and making it look a little clumsy, I think I'm just going to loop it right on there because it doesn't matter. It's, there's no like right or wrong side. If there was, sometimes doing that makes it a little bit difficult, but there isn't. So, okay, I'm just going to connect it right there. I like it. It's long. I don't know. Maybe the thing to do would be not have all that on there at the top. What do you guys think? I'm thinking maybe just do this or some small beads and then hang. Huh. Something to explore. You know, you guys know it's earrings um, Sunday. You know, Jan Tag over at the creative group, she has this earrings challenge every Sunday. You know what? I'm going to put it on there. And everybody can come and say what they think and we'll have a discussion at the creative group later. So I'll finish these up later and make them the same so I don't have to keep boring you with them. We'll run something else. But I'm starting to think, huh. I like the idea of it being segmented. This is going to be really long now. So perhaps, and then I use this Mixed Impression Jasper at the bottom, which goes great with it, but it kind of takes away from the more elegant feel of the top. So it may not really, you know, this here, this here, this part right along here goes super good. But the top, I don't, 
I don't think it blends well. It's too blingy. This should be more earthy now. That's what I think. Alrighty. So you can say, go ahead and tell me what you mean. We'll be watching the feed. And then when we get done, I'll have Javi take a picture. And we will put it on the creative group. And everybody can weigh in and tell what, what they think. Okay. Alrighty. So I'm going to move on to this other one that I was working on. And that's my whole thing that I had in mind was to show how to do it shorter from the top, a little bit more delicate from the bottom instead of big and wide at the bottom, which is fine too. There's no reason why you can't do either or. But this was my thought of doing it like that. This is Stardust Art. Love the colors. Thank you for sharing the segment. And that is absolutely normal to have to play with it. Get just what pleases your eye. Thank you for saying that because it's the absolute truth. The only way you get this done fast is if you have your colors planned ahead of time, your design planned ahead of time, and then you can whip right through it because the techniques aren't hard. But when you're trying to figure what to do, you got to take some time. Okay? Very, very good. Very astute thinking. Okay, so I already have my bottom made for this one. This one is a com combination of cast zinc bead caps, African turquoise, mixed impression jasper, and a little check glass rondelle. Now, have you guys done much with, um, with semi-precious yet? I know some of you do. Miss Gloria loves her some some semi precious. I know that. Um, I I never did anything much with it until more recently. So I'm gonna thread this on like this, and then I fell in love with it because especially when we got the beads by 1928 components, they have some heft to them, and so just the combination was really really good. Now. I put a bead on here, but you can't get them to match exactly. But I don't think I would go with this one. What do you guys think? I think I'll keep looking for something that's a little bit better. Because the mixed impression is just all kinds of colors. It's my favorite. It's um, it's Jasper. And they make it from stuff that forms in the sea. Yeah, I like that a little bit better. And we can't keep it in stock. There might be a little bit in stock, but I got that's another thing I'll do tomorrow. I've got to get hold of those people and get some more. Because it is some fantastic stuff. Okay, I need my top bead. That's mixed impression is what that is. Okay. Barbara Kelly said I have a difficult time when they don't match OCD. <laughs> when they don't match? Yeah. Yeah, well, you know, stuff like this, and don't work with this stuff because you can't you can't get a perfect match. You just have to come close enough because they're just swirled together any old how. You know, just the same way as this bead here, which is glass. It's just, it's like, um, ever hear of end of day glass? End of day Bakelite, end of day glass. Just means whatever they had left at the end of the day became a big swirly pot of whatever and they made stuff from that, the leftovers, rather than trying to separate it or do something else with it. So then it makes all these swirly stuff. I wish I had my Bakelite bangles out there end of day. They are fantastic. I feel like I could show you more what I mean. Let's see who's on here. Gloria, Gloria Allen loves check glass. Me too. But I've had my eyes open to other things lately. I've had my eyes opened to how fantastic sparkly little plastic beads can be. And people say, ew, that makes my work so cheap if I use plastic. No, it doesn't. They've been using plastic in work and stuff for years. It's all how you do it. See, I made that too high. It's all how you do it. It's all how you combine it. And it keeps the weight down in the earring so you can make a bigger earring. And it, you know, sometimes the same thing in glass will cost a whole lot more. So it will help you save money. So if they're nicely made, why not? You know, so many high-end designers of the years use plastic beads. You know, there are some plastic beads in Miriam Haskell. Did you know Kenneth J. Lane was nuts 
about plastic, or Hattie Carnegie, nuts about plastic. Yeah. And we all know 1928 uses plastic because it keeps the weight down. Now, I got a problem here. Can you see what it might be? You see what my problem is? This does not match this. And I got more wraps on this one than this one. Which is not the end of the world, but it doesn't look as good. And this one will probably hang a little bit longer than this one. So I'm going to just gently see if I can fix and adjust that because um, this is going to be a little hard without ruining the eye pin. But if I do, I do. Eye pins aren't that expensive. See who's talking here. Heidi. I find a lot of people like jewelry with acrylic beads. Jewelry pieces are much lighter in weight. They are. And there's some pretty stuff out there. And you can really keep your costs down and your price down. So don't don't just, you know, summarily walk away from plastic beads. Now there's plastic beads and there's plastic beads. Like a, a plastic druck. You know, you guys know what a druck is? A druck is a... Uh, uh, this is plastic. It's normally check glass, but it's, it's round. Just a round bead. This has got a lot of stuff going on. It's just round. Say this was red, and it was round. And that's it. That's a druck bead. Nothing going on. It's just a spacer bead. Just something to add color. Um, plastic drucks are not too exciting. Neither are glass ones, for that matter. But if I, in a druck, if I could get glass, I would probably go for glass. Oh, hey, I might just be able to fix this. Um, but you know, when you got, okay, let's show them this stuff. Have you want to show them this stuff while I'm fixing this? You could just put that on here and show them. These are our for big fat, for instance, for you. Then these are all on the website. Okay. These are, thanks. These are plastic, but she's trying to find out where they can be to show you guys. There you go. Right here. Okay. Let's see. So these are these are plastic. These are lotus beads. They're flat on the bottom. They are awesome. These are turban beads. Plastic. Um, these rosebud beads. I'm nuts about. They have an AB flash on them. They're plastic. Plastic. These are cool. They've got all kinds of swirlies and stuff. They're so flashy and blingy. Plastic. We got these. These are so cool too. Plastic. All plastic. And then of course the resin beads are plastic. They're, well, they're a form of, resin is a form of plastic. Did you know that? Yep. So, you know, it's all what you combine it with. And you can make fascinating looking things and save a little bit of money for yourself and if you sell your work for your customers. And that's what it's all about. You know, I mean, you can make expensive stuff, too. If you have the market for it, go for it. I mean, that's great. But the fact is that the vast majority of us don't. And the buying public has a limit what they'll spend. Sweet spot for earrings is like um, 15 to 22. And some markets lower. You know, that's, that's a range where in most markets, people are not thinking too hard. They'll just buy it. You know, if you can make beads, earring, beaded earrings for 10 bucks, it's even better. If you can make them, here's your challenge. Here's your challenge, guys. We've talked about this at the Creative Group a lot. Can you make earrings that you can sell for five or six hours? That matches up good. Can you do that? Can you make, I'll say that again. Can you make earrings that you can sell for five or six dollars? Say you do shows. You can. They're not fancy, but you can do it. And sometimes all people want is just a little drop. And three beads on a head pin is great. If you've got some pretty acrylic beads and you just put a little bit of something, something with it and turn your head pin or your eye pin and stick it on ear wire, you don't have much time into it and you don't have much money. And yes, you can. You can make a crazy good profit if you think about what you're going to use. Now, it's not going to be earrings like these ones that I made because these have semi-precious stones in them. Um, not stones, beads. And they've got a lot of this and that, and, of course, they took me longer to make. 
but yeah, you can make little stuff. Hey, make, do you want to? Hey, want to make some for instance one? For instance, what could we make for five bucks? Sell somebody for five bucks. I love these. They came out good. I'm gonna see. I'm gonna. Where is that? Oh, you put it aside, yeah. I'm gonna see what I got. What do I have? Yeah. Well, I could surely do these. They don't cost very much at all. I think they're twenty-five for two ninety-five or something, something like that. So let's see how far we're gonna get with something like that. I'm gonna just go ahead and close these up. Five dollar earrings. I wish we we had it so that I could see you guys at the same time. They don't make anything like that, do they? What? Like, you can get on here, you can see the people who are watching you too. Like, they should, could show you something. No, they don't. No, they That's a little too advanced. <laughs> the day's coming. They do that on Facebook Live. But yeah. Then... Yeah. Uh, it would be cool, though, if we had a challenge to see how many we could make in a certain amount of time. I don't know. Maybe we could, like, all meet. And then at the end of our time together, say how many we made or something. I don't know. Okay, these are done. I love these. This might have to be mine. But you could do a lot there with just some. I don't have tons of them. I'd probably sell these for around 18 bucks. And I'd get it because they're semi-precious. Okay, so let's just see what we, how far we could get for cheapo. Make something cheapo. Huh. I have to have just the right head pin with these. I think I'm going to go with silver. Silver. Oh, see, we've got the same problem. It's too big. We've got to put a little something, something on the bottom. Huh. Now, it has to be something I have. Oh, I got it. I got it. I got it. I got it. Here's what we're going to do. I have these little itty-bitty things down in here. And oh, yeah, yeah it does work. And Annette Parker won last week. She won that necklace that I was working on. And I don't have it out to you yet, Annette, if you're watching. Because I know she wasn't feeling good the other day. But um, I will soon. I have to fix it. I have to finish it. We had some parts, you know, that I didn't get done. Okay, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put the little one on the end here. Now I'm going to put this here, and it'll stop it. Yep. And I got a eye pin with a ball end eye pin, head, head, head pin. Ah, oh, today. <laughs> a ball end head pin. Okay, on there. Those do cost a little bit more, but not terrible. Then I'm going to take this and put it on upside down. You see what I did? And then I'm going to take one of these because these are not expensive either and I'm going to put it like that and then I'm going to take another one of these little zinc ones and put that on okay that goes pretty good not perfect but pretty good you're getting my idea okay now this has a pretty big hole in it so it's kind of swinging around but let's just see and I'll take and I will put, put a loop on the top Oh no, he's back. <laughs> the rubber chicken. <laughs> oh, oh. Eat your beans up. <laughs> oh, you're nuts. Javi, you're such a child. <laughs> okay, so now I'm going to wrap this as soon as I get it tight enough. It's like watching paint dry. This has to be tight. See what's happening? It's not tight enough. So it's slobbing all around. I see what you're saying. Yeah, I mean, they can whirl around a little bit, you know, but um, if you get too much play in there, you're not going to like it. You won't like it. Is the hole is too big. Yeah, I it. think so. I think it has a lot to do with, they are cheap beads, 
and they have a little bigger holes. So, yeah, you're going to have to compensate for that. But, you know, guess what? You can. Alrighty. Anybody know how long I took to do this? Five minutes, maybe? We should go back to the time thing. Maybe we can find out from the time stamp how long, when I started doing this. <laughs> okay, now i got to get in there. It says, then you could double that, and that would be, you know, what time it took for you to make them. And you do need to take into account your time, even if it's just a few minutes. Hey, you got to get paid. Okay. But I think these are very, very worthy $5 earrings. You get some ear wires that are not expensive. Good, you know, nice decent one but I think um, even at retail with all these parts and stuff in here little parts inexpensive parts you don't you wouldn't even have a dollar in two of them I don't think so not really because mm -mm, they cost so little even these little bead caps are very inexpensive probably the most expensive I don't, there's nothing expensive here the ball and head pins cost a little bit more but it's not that much. I think you get 50 for $10 of mine because mine are really good ones. Um, so I don't know, times that out. Yeah, it's well under a dollar for two of them you got into it. And you got, if you, if you can get yourself down to say 10 minutes on this, making a pair, yeah, you can do these for five bucks. And they're cute and people will buy them. Okay. I need to refine my technique on that top. Sometimes the ball end ones are a little bit harder to wrap. Okay. But yeah, a pair of these, two of those, and voila. There you go. We got 57 watching now. wonder how many left because I'm clumsy. Let's see. <laughs> Kelly's here. Your Fonny's here. I talked to her the other day and left her. And, um, she said something on my post. Let's see, Susie B. I don't know how much those are, but those turban beads will look great just as a drop. Yes, they would, and they're yeah. they're cheap. We have them on the website. They don't cost much at all. Believe me, they don't. I love them. They're kind of in these kind of like neutral colors, but I like the gold with the cream. So I mean, I'm into that. I like those colors. Not everybody does, but you want me to wear over here? Over here. Over here. <laughs> okay. But, like, say you put an end cap on it. I mean, that's really earthy and pretty, too. Do we have those end caps on the site? These ones, no. I just got these the other day, and these are mine because I just bought them as a sample, but I'm going to go back and get more because they're awesome. And I like them that they're cast. But anyway, we have these on the site. I'm nuts about these. I've showed you guys so many times. These are they're, uh, zinc casting with bronze finish and green patina on them. Awesome. Now, if you have some zinc with that bronze finish on it, you go ahead and put Swelligant on it and do your own green patina. It will come out like this. This is what it looks like. But I didn't do it. I, I bought them like that. So, Ooh, let's see. <laughs> yeah, so you can do multiples on FaceTime, but very small group. Okay. Well, we got a lot of people, so we had to do it in shifts. <laughs> <laughs> what is that ring that opens and closes jump rings call? It's called a jumpy tool. And you know what, Linda? If you go back in my videos, you will see there's one called that ring on her finger. And it's about the jumpy tool and how it works. And we're out of them. But we won't be for long. They're on their way. I ran out. That shows you. We're always running out of them. They, yeah. they sell a lot. A lot. Let's see who else is on here. Claire. Claire likes the turban bees. Pamela, they have an old world look. I agree. Melanie and Thibodeau. Hello from Michigan. Hello yourself, Melanie Ann. Let's see who else is here that's new. Thanks. I'll wait to order. Linda says, yeah. They're, they're good. You know what? You can buy them a lot of places. So sometimes um, you'll find one in a big box. But the thing that I like about the ones that I get is sometimes um, they make the slits. So you've got two slits on the back, too. So you can turn it around. Whoops. Let me just show you. And so if you've got real skinny, you know, jumps you know you could turn them those two i'm i'm always using the fatter one oh, but sometimes they make them with the slots too small and they're just impossible and you want to throw them at the wall 
because why did you buy this? You know, it's, it, but you don't know till you get out of the package. So I stick with my brand that I buy because it's never disappointed me yet. And I don't want to disappoint you when you get them. But yeah, when you first get it, it takes a little practice to get on. Some people will tell you at the end of the day they still prefer working with two pliers, and that's fine. But once I got this, my life changed. <laughs> <laughs> Believe me. It's an me. easier process too because yeah. it's just you're not holding two jump. Yeah. Two pliers trying to. Yeah, because if I'm going to do two pliers, me where's the other one? I have another one here someplace. Yeah, right here. Yeah. Okay. So if I'm going to do two pliers, I'm going to get my wolfies out. Let's use that one. <laughs> yeah, you would need it for that. It's a heavy duty one. Now, in it. this case, you know, this isn't going to fit in your jumpy tool. In fact, I can just sense it. I'm going to slip the so There you go. In this case, you want two pliers. Why don't I like this round one or this one here? It's because it's, it'll rock out and slip on me. And these flat noses uh, from Wolf, they're just amazing. And I, I love them. And we don't have any of these either. <laughs> Which I, see, that, that's the thing. Does that ever happen to you? I hate that. Yeah. I hate that. Makes me feel And then inept. you can't get it very flush with the pliers, I think. So. I did. Huh, that's pretty good. Yeah, I always aim to like get it like as See, completely but, like, flush long, as I how can. How long did that take? <laughs> a little long. Yeah, it took longer. It was the thing. You're like, just quit. Yeah, like do but that. But you can't do. You can't, okay, okay, I'm going to try. Okay, all right. I'm going to get a fresh one out that hasn't been worked. And I'm going to put it in here. I'm going to get rid of this. I'm going to see if I can. See, I can't even put it in there. This is not going to happen. But put, get a small one. <laughs> yeah, small one works. Small one's fantastic. Here's one that's a smaller wire arbor. In here. Voila. Perfect. I mean, you can Thank make you. tracks with this thing on your finger. Believe me, you can. Well, wow, shall we make one more pair of earrings before we wrap this up today? Let's see who's talking. I'm wearing my jump ring tool just sitting here. Marianne Thibodeau says, <laughs> haven't been making jewelry. Aww. Yeah, you know, I will go out in public and still have this thing on. People think, that is really weird. She's <laughs> Oh, you took it by accident? Yeah, this is just really weird. She's wearing it on this knuckle up so high on her middle finger. <laughs> it's like, is she making a statement? I don't know. <laughs> but... I don't care. I mean, sometimes if I've been beating all day when I take it off, I feel like I'm missing something, you know? Yeah. Okay. Let's make one more pair of semi-precious beads earrings. What do you think? Let's see. I got some of those out. So we'll put this up here in case I need it again. You should use those. Um, Which this, one? This, this you want to use these? Yeah, that looks pretty cool. Turquoise, is that? Yeah, this uh, actually... These have a little history, and I don't know if we have any on the site now or not because I ran out of them, but these um, beads were used in Miriam Haskell jewelry, and uh, Mr. Bernie got them from some friends of his that he has that are down in the garment district in New York, and they had some in back room, lots of them, and he got me a big bunch of them, and we had them at the site for a while, and they were awesome. We even had the dimpled uh, cream Broke ones, te yeah. teardrops. I still have one strand of that hanging on the wall downstairs, and I don't even want to use it ever. But <laughs> <laughs> anyway, that's what those are. They're um, these are Drux. Check. And then this is dyed halite. Halite's usually white with gray veining, and I'm nuts about it. I love it. It's very blah, but it's what you do with it. And then this is African turquoise. So I have to see, what can we put with that? Now I'm going to start out with a brass ox. And that's kind of strange because normally you would use a cool color with this type of bead. This that means silver. You wouldn't um. use a warm color, which is this. So let's go. Let's see, like how we can fix it up to looking cool, even though we're using a different color scheme. Now I've got 
This I don't know if you guys can see. I've got some old Russian gold in here. I've got these little teeny tiny pieces. Oh, these are awesome. I don't have any right now, but I'm going to see if I can get some tomorrow. I've been, how many times have I told you guys that this time? I don't have any now, but... But if, um, if I can get them off my guy, he'll send them to me quick if they have them. They're on winter break at the moment. <laughs> no, they're not. They're all back. Oh, they're, they're all back? They've been back for a long time, oh, Javi. Where have you been? I don't know. Well, you don't order anything. That's why you wouldn't know. <laughs> okay. So I'm looking for... Maybe these will work. I wish I had these all laid out. You guys can choose. The more we do this, the better I'll get at it and be more entertaining. I do look forward to this time with you guys. I really do. I look forward to it all week. Okay, I'm so glad we started doing this. So now I've got this on here on a head pin. And I'm going to put my turquoise glass druck on there. And then I'm going to put another one. Because you know what I say. A bead is a bead until you put in a frame. And then you got something going on. I know what I'm going to do. It really sets it off. That's what bead caps are. That's what they are. They're to set it off. Okay, so now I need like a rhyme gel. Oh, here's one. It might be too fat. Oh, <laughs> she's getting bored. <laughs> I think she was going to show up. Who? You. Me show up? Yeah, you did show up. Did you go out to eat? Yeah, uh -huh. I was starving. Yeah, uh -huh. I went out to eat after, so I got here late. Yeah. That's all right. You came good enough. You came good enough. Okay, so now I put this mix. I don't like it. It's too fat. Mm, yeah. It's too fat. I agree. I agree, she says. I agree. Well, let's just put the next one on. Thanks, Claire. <laughs> what did Claire say? She agreed to. You cracked me up, Bobby. <laughs> she oh, she said you agreed. Yeah, she's just a real comedian. <laughs> no, that's not going to look good. I don't know. I'm having a feeling like I can make these, but I'm not going to like them when I'm done. Or like, are you wanting a smaller bead? Or well, uh, you know, I can go ahead and make this and it'll be fine. But I would like something like to make it just go pop. Yeah. And so far, I'm just seeing turquoise beads. I agree. <laughs> I'm not seeing any pop going on here. So what could I do to make it pop? I don't know. I might be in over my head. <laughs> For getting done soon. I might have to go on a Mary Goose chase to look around and see what I got. I don't know. I got, I'm going to change it up. I got another idea. Oh, wait. Let's try this first. Well, now it's starting to pop a little bit. So now if I do with this, if I put one of these beads, colorful beads, nah. You gotta get it to just go pow. Well, I'm gonna put this, <laughs> I'm gonna stack this on top of here. I'll tell you what, the people that come in to see this afterwards will say, and they stayed around to watch that? <laughs> yeah. I'm still here. <laughs> you know, though, this is the kind of things, have you guys, um, if you do shows, no, I don't like that. Do you like that? Nah. 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 It doesn't go there. Nah. Just nah. take out the other Yeah. I don't know. Uh, anyway. Mm -mm. Well, we anyway, I was going to say to you, do you guys do shows? Because if you do shows, um, people will love to just come along and watch you do this all day long. That's true. They do. Here, this will work. Because you, when you go to places like that and they... They just get fascinated, you know? It's entertaining. And then you, then they'll start saying, what if you put this on here? What if you put that on there? And they like it, you know? So, yeah, I need something else here, and I'm not seeing it. It's not presenting itself. This makes me mad. It made me mad, so I'm going to have to finish it off. I'm going to have to finish you off, bead. And I'm going to do mixed impression again at the top. Not too crazy with the colors okay you know 
if this bead costs a little bit too much for you to do it for five bucks, but you wouldn't need a whole lot more than that. Somebody might like it. Actually, I got stuff I could wear that with, and it'd be just fine. You know, you don't always have to make earrings that are showstoppers, but I'd rather make earrings that are showstoppers. <laughs> but when you, um, like, make a necklace, it's always nice to include with your necklace a little tiny pair of earrings that you made from, like, the same beads that are in the necklace. Just a little tiny pair of ear drops. Yeah, I agree. Because, like... Say you made a big fancy honking assemblage. You don't want to wear great big earrings with that. That's not going to look good. So, you know, just give them a little bit of an accent for their ears. And don't tell them you're giving it to them. Just put it in a surprise little box. That's how you make customers for life. And they come back and they come back and they come back. And that's what you want to do. You want to make your customers fall in love with you. Oh, that lady's so nice. She even gave me earrings. Oh, look, it is so it's beautiful. I don't know how she did this. Oh, wow, it's great. I wouldn't even want to do it. I'd rather let her do it. That kind of stuff. You hear? Can I tuck that up under? Now, that's not horrible. But let's face it. It's not this. <laughs> <laughs> that's true. But here's one more thought, and I'm not going to do it today. I'm just going to leave you with it. And maybe next week or another time soon, we'll do this. I wish this was a roller chain, but I just cut it for the sake of doing it. Now, if I do this video with you guys, I'll have to have it planned out really good because we won't get anywhere. But anyway, this is my bead and link chain. This is one of our best sellers from the website, and it's one of my personal favorites. I always have a spool or two of it back here, see? Are you jealous yet? <laughs> Ooh, ah. <laughs> I like the silver one. <laughs> yeah, yes, yeah, I do too. I prefer the silver one. Anyway, I've I've cut seven inches because seven inches you can part in the middle pretty good because it's an uneven number. Although I don't know, I might have to bring up because I want. I want there to be, when I double it, I want there to be one like that sticking out. Anybody got a reason? Anybody got any ideas why I want that? It's because I'm going to turn this into a convertible necklace, a convertible bracelet that you can do into a necklace. That's why. So I will find my middle, wherever that was. I'd have to look again. Got seven inches of this. Might want to cut it just a little bit shorter because you have to allow for clasps. So then it might be a little too big for some people. But anyway, so then I'm going to get my beads and I'm going to do my little three beads on a head pin or two beads or one bead or whatever it is I want to do. And I'm going to start stringing them up. Putting them all down the line. Now I wouldn't use these, but you know, this would be a really cool combination to do. And you can do them high-low. You can do one, like, shorter, one longer, stagger them, you know, high-low, high-low, high-low. And then when you get done, fit it to your wrist, put your clasp on, and then make yourself another chain to go around the neck so you can convert it, and then you could have a bib. There's a bunch of different ways you can go with this and make it really fancy schmancy and look like a big, big hoo-ha. You know, you can do a lot with this. That's why I say... Three beads on a head pin is where you start, but it's not something you give up. Just because you progress beyond it, it, you don't give it up. That's a principle that you will continue to use all through your makering life. Okay, so let's see who's on here for and get off. Anybody that wants to comment, go ahead and be sure you comment because I'm going to give you something. Um, I didn't really get anything made this week, so I think... What I'm going to do, you know, we didn't really make anything finished that much. So I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to give you a bead bag and some findings to make earrings. That's what you're going to win. You'll love that. And any of the you guys out there that get my gifties know it's going to be good. And if you've never got one yet, 
Hold on to your hat. <laughs> They're good. Okay, so comment. You have to comment on here. We go through and we, we count up the unique comments. That means one per person. And then we put it in the random number generator. And whoever had that number wins. And I'll let you know after the video about 15 or 20 minutes. Yep. Yeah. So let's see. Clara Nama says, I haven't tried to do Joey at shows, but I'm thinking I may take things to work on for my next one. It's a smart thing to do, Claire. And if you're able to bring someone along, at least for part of the day, to help you, that frees you up. And then you you can uh, just work on your jewelry and somebody else can ring people up. And I'm telling you what, it will increase your sales. I mean, hands down, will. Yeah. Okay, they love the chain. Jan says, I love your live videos, Brenda. Oh, you just love me, Jan. That's all it is. You love anything I do, I think. Well, most anything. Anyway, <laughs> she's, she's so nice to me always. But he says, that is so nice. Susie B says, see y'all next time. Yep, we'll be here next Sunday so long as Javi shows up. Because <laughs> I can't do this myself. This is Melanie Ann says, Annie not yet. But after looking gross up, you should see email Sue. It looks like a lot of her stuff. Gross. Oh, yeah, that's a German uh, jewelry company. They work for uh, Christian Dior. Okay. Thank you, Pat. Thank you, Lori. I'm glad you like the Jasper earrings. Me too. Me likey, me likey a lot. Did I make both of them? Yes, I did. Maybe I should give you guys that and some bees. Heidi says, I recently made some resin home decor pieces using some of the Bisu metal and filigree pieces. I post them on IG and FB. They turned out beautifully. Awesome. Heidi, if you want to, you can post those on Mondays on the creative group. I think you're in the creative group. If you want to, you can show them. Anything that's made with stuff like I carry and you like made, say, altered um, bottles or p picture frames or treasure chests, whatever decor items, you can post them on Mondays. So just keep that in mind. You can do that. I'm glad you decided to do live videos on YouTube. Me too. It's fun. Let's see who else is there. Thank you, Miss Soleil. <laughs> we'll see you, Soleil. Barbara says, I'll see you. Thanks, Brennan, Javi, and Mr. Chicken. Mr. Uh, Chicken. <laughs> yeah. Bye. Oh, yeah. Super Bowl Sunday. Yeah, you guys got to go get ready. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, you got to go get ready. Okay, love you much. Thanks for showing up. I was all over the place with this, but maybe you don't mind too much. Uh, we're going to go find out who won some beads and stuff. Woo! Woo -hoo 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 -hoo. I'm excited. Quick, quick, <laughs> comment. Quick, quick. Oh, Heidi's having surgery tomorrow morning. Well, I hope it goes well, Heidi. Thank you. Thank you, Trish. Thank you, Betty. Heidi again. So glad to see you again, Heidi. It's been a long time. Okay. We'll see you next week, same place, 4.30 here, um, 4.30 Ohio time, EST, Sundays. And we will do something else, and hopefully I will have it laid out so that we have a little bit more of a project. But I think I already know what I'm going to do, so it's all good. All right, we'll see you over at the Creative Group. If you haven't joined yet, come and join us. I'll put the URL in the comments so that you can find it. All right. Happy Sunday. Bye, bye, bye. bye. Love you. Love you.